Margie from the Westchester Children's Museum once again and I'm here to do a fun activity with you today. So this week's activities are kind of all about back to school and some of the things that you may buy or need for school we're going to use for our activities. So we have one that we're using pencils and actually for this one we're using crayons. So we're going to make some fun stained glass with melted crayons. So, have you ever seen stained glass? If so, where did you see it? How is it made? What is used to make glass even? So a few things about stained glass. So the first thing is that glass is actually made from sand? Yes, sand. So sand, what happens is extreme heat gets applied to that sand and it actually turns from a solid to a liquid. But then it cools. And when it cools, it turns back to a solid. So let's get ready to have some fun and let's learn a little bit more about stained glass and solids and liquids. So let's get started. So what you need is a few things that I'm sure you'll have at home. So the first thing you need is some crayons. And you can actually use some old crayons if you want. So maybe some ones where the wrappers are already off or um, you know you haven't used them in a while. But you do need the thicker crayons to do this activity. You need some wax paper. You actually need um, a cheese grater. But the better kind is the one that stands up to use. But you can also use a pencil sharpener. That's easy to use too in this activity and you'll see. So either or, so you don't have to have a cheese grater. So the next thing that you need is you're going to need some sort of tray that you can use to um, make your stained glass on. So we're using a cutting board here for that. Um, and that's what you need. Oh, I almost forgot. Your caregiver is going to need an iron and maybe a towel and some newsprint. So for that part, only your caregiver can do because we're gonna to need to apply some heat to make our stained glass pictures. So let's get started with the activity. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make some crayon shavings some of your favorite colors. So how you can do that is you can use only with your caregiver a cheese grater. Now as I said the one standing up is better to use so you can push your crayon up and down with your caregiver. So you want to make shavings by rubbing the crayon or you can take a pencil sharpener with a bottom on it and sharpen your crayons and you'll get all your little crayon shavings in here. So that's another way you can do it. So what I did is I did some already and I put them in little cups. So you can see I did three of my favorite colors. I have red, I have purple, and I have yellow. And then for fun you can do this too. I actually took some of the shavings and I put them in a little tiny um, container that I can sprinkle some on. So we're gonna try that too. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to take a big piece of um, wax paper and it needs to be big enough so that you're able to fold it over the top of your picture your stained glass. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pinches and I'm going to create a picture or a design. You can do either. 
I might try to create a heart. So here goes my heart. And we'll come back in a minute so you can see my heart and you can see the next steps. So there is my design or heart that I made with the crayon shavings. So the next steps you're going to need your caregiver for because we're going to have to get out an iron and plug it in and fold our wax paper over put a towel underneath, maybe some newsprint, and put some heat on our design. So let's get ready to see what happens. So we put some heat on top of my crayon shavings. Wow. Look at my stained glass. Now, I didn't have to use that many shavings. You can use less. And you can now put your picture up in the window on a sunny day and watch the sun shine through your stained glass. So, we actually turned our solid to a liquid and we changed the form of our crayon shavings. But let's talk a little bit more. So I hoped you enjoyed doing this really fun activity with crayons. But a little bit more about glass and even stained glass. So glass is actually made from sand. Sand is a solid. But when heat is applied and that's really, 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 really hot heat, it has to be at least 1700 degrees Celsius, that sand melts and becomes a liquid sand. But then when it cools, that sand takes a different form and that's the form of glass. So in order to make stained glass, they add salts and minerals that have color in them. And that's how you get the beautiful colors in stained glass. But you can do some more things too with your stained glass pictures. First, you need to hang them in your windows because when the sun shines through, they look beautiful. But also what you can do is take out a Sharpie after you've made yours, and draw some designs or pictures on it. So have fun. It's Margie from the Westchester Children's Museum. Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope to see you again soon. Please come visit our website for all our fabulous activities and our programs that we have for you. I'll see you next time.